I'm going to be sharing with you my biggest struggles so far this year of trying to be an entrepreneur and content creator trying to pursue my huge goals and create a big impact. I'm not trying to make a huge fancy edited video, I really want to make this short and sweet and so this may be different from my previous videos but I haven't gotten a video this week and I really want to get this one out today. Today instead I'm just trying to reflect on the major things I've been dealing with and hopefully this will bring it to your attention and help you out and actually show you what really goes on in the background of being in the beginning in the dirt starting new businesses that you really might not have any idea how to do. My goal with this channel is to help younger entrepreneurs, whether you're in real estate, trying to make an e-commerce business, trying to learn about finance and investments, or if you're really just trying out this new side hustle and wanna learn what the best side hustles are and how you can make the most amount of money when you are younger and you don't wanna to go to the traditional route of trying to go work for someone else. Part of pursuing any of these types of businesses or side hustles, it comes with a lot of hard work, pushing past fears, developing skills and habits, taking action towards your ideas, and ultimately, just being consistent with all of this. Starting off with one of the biggest things I'm struggling with, and that is time. Being in school, which you may be as well, you don't really have as much time and every day, all day, to work on a business a side hustle and grow something to be bigger for your future. And the first major thing I wanna talk about today is my time. Maybe you are like myself and in school, so you don't have every day, all day, to be able to focus on your business and side hustles and growing whatever it is you're trying to do. So you really have this limited amount of time to get things done and you wanna get a lot done, but it's been super hard to get it done in a certain amount of time. And that's what I would be struggling with right now because I'm trying to grow real estate business and I wanna create content for you guys. I wanna grow my following on here, so so if you really want to help me out, make sure you like this video and share it with any of your friends that might be interested in this sort of thing. I would really truly appreciate that if you could do that. But even having school, trying to focus on real estate and my content creation, I still have loved ones to worry about. So I still want to spend time with my girlfriend and my family. So I have to put time into every single one of these things when there's not a lot of time in the day or week to get them done. Because school takes up the majority of the day, Monday through Friday. So I really only have evenings and weekends to try to get things done. Something that ties into my time is my effectiveness. I may have a certain amount of time, but how effective am I using that time that I have? I think I'm actually doing very poorly in this and I need to get better at being more effective. For one, I just need to get things done way faster. I need to set up the processes that will create more time to focus on other things so that I'm not doing these little tasks that could be automated and I'm overindulging on social media when I don't need to. So I use social media to network and create content, add value to you, and that's really what I should make focus on but there's other times where I get on it and I start watching way too much content and not creating content and providing value to others and I also have some of these fears that get in the way of me trying to be effective for my time and these are mostly just things that I'm starting new because things that I've already done I probably don't have the fear of it anymore because I've done it before and I can do it again so these fears come up when I'm trying to do something new and the type of fears I'm getting is like fear of failure which I really need to get over because failure is succeeding and you learn more from it and then I start thinking of you know what is someone gonna think of me how am I gonna come out in the best way what happens if I mess up say the wrong thing you know what are they gonna say to me and ultimately it comes down to all these fears not even mattering because when I push away these fears and don't even think about them I'm getting more done throughout the day and I'm accomplishing more with my tasks because I'm not having that in my mind I'm really focusing on what actually needs to get done and not anything that could happen there are also some very bad habits I've been creating like picking up my phone when I don't need to for example if I'm reading I shouldn't have my phone really on me and trying to look at my phone while I'm reading I should be just focused on reading and it kind of distracts me from the task I need to get done and I wouldn't be getting that task done faster if I didn't pick up my phone Going Going back to the social media part, I have these bad habits of scrolling through social media that absolutely doesn't provide value to myself or others. And it's just wasteful time that is just going to overall make me feel worse about myself because by the time I finally get off that social media, I now feel bad because I wasn't using my time wisely and I just don't feel like I want to do anything. It tires me out and it doesn't help me in any way. It makes things so much worse and so much harder to get back in the flow of what I need to do. With all these things I'm struggling with, I really need to pull out the joy of starting things and in the beginning. You may have heard from other successful people that have created businesses. Once they create that business and have it up and running to the point where they really don't need to spend a lot of time into it, they are ready to go and start a new one because starting it is the fun part. Once you get to the point where you know how to do everything, all the systems are in place, and you don't have to do much and take up much mind work and it, nothing seems hard for you anymore. It's not as fun as it was in the beginning because in the beginning you're learning, you're really just trying to figure everything out. Every day you're pushing yourself to do something that you haven't done before. So I really need to take in the joy of the beginning part and I need to understand that everything I'm doing now is gonna be part of the process and is exactly what I need to be doing and I just need to have more fun with it. So whenever I fail, I really need to have fun with failing by taking that failure and then turning it into a success. Maybe it's the failure motivates me to succeed next time 
it just teaches me a lesson to now apply and make it better and I can also teach you guys all these things having the joy in the beginning can involve teaching you and showing you guys what it means and what it is that's happening right in the beginning parts. You guys may think it's all, you know, glitter and butterflies and everything will be so good and you won't have to struggle at all. I really hope to show you guys all the struggles that I go through so that maybe you're in the same position, you know how to act towards things and you are prepared to push past your fears and fail. Now, while I'm trying to go work on everything I'm struggling with and I just shared with you, I hope you guys do the same thing and take everything into consideration and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.